सो इट वॉज जस्ट पिट स्टॉप हियर एंड नाउ वी आर हेडिंग टू गिलय बीच फ्रॉम हियर द गिलय बीच इज अबाउट मे बी फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ड्राइव सो नाउ वी विल हेड टूवर्ड्स द गिलय बीच so we reached kilalai beach and um, we hadn't had our lunch so we thought first we will go to the lunch point have lunch and then get into the sea and uh, one fish and chips do you have anything in vegetarian yes we have a vegetarian dish oh uh, so it's just grilled vegetables in a chili and tomato sauce okay i will it's okay too. okay yes. But and unfortunately, only one, <laughs> only one vegetarian dish. Okay, that's okay. fine. Vegetarian. That's fine. And you have French fries. Yes. Get one of those. One. Yes. Interestingly, they don't have anything in vegetarian in the menu except for one dish, which is like a sorted vegetables in chili oil. So I had no option, rather other than ordering that. So I've ordered that with. French fries. Uh, since it's the uh, uh, Gilla Beach is famous for uh, fishing village and uh, seafood, so I am going to try uh, fish and chips. So let's wait for it. So I ordered a vegetarian dish. The only menu they had um, for vegetarians. So it's vegetable sorted with. chili sauce i can see tomato onion um bell pepper and mushrooms with almond and nuts and that's it with every uh, food menu you get a, a bread and cheese and i've also separately ordered finger chips so that i'm sorted with my dinner lunch whatever you can call this as This is the fish, and uh, these are the chips, and uh, uh, I have tomatoes, lemon, onions, and uh, some kind of sauce. it's uh, 6:45 pm now we have finished our dinner and uh, uh, it's a quite sunny day today but also very windy and cold uh, this is what us uh, denmark or copenhagen summers um, look like uh, we hardly get the summer summer feeling because even in summer you need to um go anywhere with the jacket um it's like a mandatory thing you know it can it can be sunny it can be windy it can be rainy at the same time so uh, this is copenhagen weather um but uh, now we are walking towards the strand uh, to see if we can get into the water uh but uh, the it's very cold so i don't know if we will get into it but we might sit here for some time we've got some bachits from home we will just put it around and uh, just sit for some time watch the sea and that's how we might end our evening today but stay with us let's see what we do here Uh, so <laughs> we are now deciding so ritesh is also putting his hoodie on um it's quite windy and cold uh, do not go by the sunglasses we are wearing um it's very very misleading uh, copenhagen or denmark weather i would say so uh, it's it's quite windy and cold and now we are thinking where do we sit down here or we should we move 
move to Tesvalai at least we get to see the sunset so let's see what we kind of decide Also parking here but uh, somehow because of the restaurant we have parked over there and walked all the way to this strand here and now we are st sitting here on this bench but otherwise the beach is definitely good but today it's a little windy uh, and uh, it's definitely cold even the water temperature is cold to get in the water okay. so time is now 7 30 so we are planning to head towards Tisvile where we want to experience the sunset. So you want a cup of coffee too. Also want to have a cup of coffee. So we are heading towards Tisvile. So Tisvile I think it should be around 15 minutes drive from here. We are thinking. So let's keep going. So we've reached Tesvilai. We thought it will be a little less colder here, but uh, no, um, it's quite cold here too. Um, but uh, we are hoping we'll be able to see the sunset at least in uh, by sitting inside the car. Um, let's see. However, we thought we will order some hot cup of coffees. So we've ordered a cafe latte and a cappuccino. Uh, hopefully we will feel a little warmer. Let's see after we get the coffee. When we come to the Tisvile parking lot, you have a cafe uh, attached to the parking lot. Um, so you get uh, coffee, some burger, um, some food to eat basically. Uh, We came to Tisvile to get the sunset view and I think we were lucky. We got a wonderful sunset view, the sun setting from one side and moon raising from the other side. So it was a wonderful sight to watch. Of course, it was way too windy. It was way too cold. But then, you know, we just went out. We got a, a place in the parking where the sunset was right in front of us so we waited in the car till kind of um, the setting of the sun was almost at the end and that is when we got down of the car and then um, 
watch the sunset so um we got some amazing captures also and this is our first sunset um in denmark and uh, it was a, a good new experience um since ritesh comes from the coastal area we've always seen such sunset um in mangalore uh, but this time uh, we were lucky enough to uh, see the sunset in denmark but uh, i think uh, with this um we've come to the end of today's uh, adventure what we had planned um so we are heading back home now from here and uh, until we go on our next adventure stay tuned hopefully you enjoy our co- content and uh, if you like our content please uh, like share and subscribe our channel for now bye please take care bye. stop recording